Hey, you welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy, as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can see on screen, the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow Jones, which are all fantastic stock market indices, have been doing very well recently. The NASDAQ is up almost 10% year-to-date, the S&P is up over 8%, and the Dow is up just below 1%. But it's not all good news, because the stock market is coming off its worst week of the year, according to this article, and the road ahead is supposedly supposed to become very bumpy. On the other hand, I actually think right now is a good investment opportunity for investors who are willing to put their money into strong investments for the long term, but always make sure to do your own research. We also have good news in the form of the US dollar, which has posted its best week in more than 18 months in regards to its strength compared to other currencies. For me personally, I like to invest into ticker symbol QQQM, ticker symbol VTI, and ticker symbol SCHD, just to name a few. But again, always make sure to do your own research. Now before moving into the best stocks to buy, let's quickly go over some news updates, starting off with none other than the fast food chain named McDonald's. The reason why McDonald's is in the news today is because McDonald's has planned to offset their increased fast food workers' wage in California by bringing back bagels to their menu. For me, I personally love bagels, and the company is now reintroducing this breakfast favorite in the state to drive more sales and traffic. Because if you didn't know, California fast food workers now have to be paid more. In response to this, McDonald's has to think about more ways to make money so they can pay their employees. So overall, I think this is a win-win situation. Next up, let's quickly talk about Tesla's latest news update before we do some analysis on this phenomenal company. If you didn't know, Tesla is an electric vehicle manufacturer, which also specializes in energy storage, energy generation, as well as artificial intelligence. According to this article, Tesla has officially cut their full self-driving subscriptions and fees in half for customers who are located in the United States as well as Canada to just $99 per month. And the reason why they had to name it that is because it's an acknowledgement that the cars are not fully self-autonomous. However, once Tesla does figure out how to implement full self-driving capabilities, their share price could absolutely explode, and that's what we're going to talk about next in regards to the best stocks to buy right now, starting off with none other than Tesla. Now, before we get into the good news about why I personally am still buying this company hand over fist, let's talk about some bad news, because two major executives have recently left this company, and Tesla is also laying off a plethora of employees, so let's jump right into it. If you didn't know, two high-profile executives have officially departed from Tesla, and this was on the same day that Tesla has announced that they plan to lay off thousands of workers. The first executive that is leaving this company would be Tesla's SVP of Powertrain and Energy. And the next one to leave was the Vice President of Public Policy and Business Development, and both of these individuals have officially left the company. As of right now, it seems that there is no hard feelings in either regard, considering that Tesla's CEO, who is none other than Elon Musk, has thanked both of these individuals for their contributions to the company, and he did this on his social media platform called X. And it does seem that this is happening at an appropriate time, considering that Tesla is laying off thousands of employees in a bid to cut costs, according to this article, as well as boost productivity. Recent metrics show that Tesla finished the year of 2023 with over 140,000 employees, which means that these job cuts could affect around 14,000 people. In the meantime, this could cause their share price to go even lower, but again, I'm going to use this as a great buying opportunity. The news of these layoffs were originally published by Elon Musk himself, through an internal company email. And thanks to recent leaks, we actually have the email, where Elon Musk said this to his employees, and I quote, As we prepare the company for our next phase of growth, it is extremely important to look at every aspect of the company for cost reductions and increasing productivity. He goes on to say, As part of this effort, we have done a thorough review of the organization and made the difficult decision to reduce our headcount by more than 10% globally. There is nothing I hate more, but it must be done. Elon Musk 
also has said that essentially there were duplication of roles and job functions, so they are laying off people in those various areas. But overall, in the long term, this actually could be a good move for Tesla. And it's not like Tesla even had a bad year, considering that in 2023, they shipped a record 1.8 million electric vehicles. But on the other hand, the company did spend a lot of the year slashing their prices of their most popular models, which negatively impacted their margins. And if you didn't know that, essentially, they cut their vehicles prices because they wanted to counterbalance the impact of high interest rates and increased global competition. Yet, I've said it once and I'll say it again, we have two huge catalysts coming up for this company. The first catalyst would be that Tesla plans to build a low-cost electric vehicle which would start at around $25,000. But the bigger news, in my opinion, would be their full self-driving robo-taxis, which is anticipated to debut on August 8th. So investors should be extremely excited for that. But overall, I would say that Tesla is a great buying opportunity right now, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about another company that I'm buying, and that would be none other than Lockheed Martin, which is a government contractor. Lockheed Martin, ticker symbol LMT, has recently been awarded a $17 billion contract. This contract would be to develop the next generation of interceptors that would guard the United States against an intercontinental ballistics missile attack. Clearly, this is huge news for Lockheed Martin, and I'm surprised that their share price isn't reacting more positively to this phenomenal news. As it stands, the next generation interceptor, also known as the NGI, is in its technology development phase, but eventually it will transition to its production development phase in May, which is great news for this company. As of right now, very little is known about this contract officially, and we don't even know the length or the period of performance for this particular contract. But the good news is that the first interceptor is anticipated to be ready and operational in 2028. In general, this did lift LMT's share price up by 1.1%, and winning a $17 billion contract is great news. So I would encourage you to go do your own research on this company so you personally can determine whether or not this is a good company to buy for your portfolio, and I would love to hear your comments down below on this. Next up, let's talk about a fantastic stock to buy right now, and that would be none other than IBM, also known as International Business Machines. I personally do not hold this stock in my portfolio right now, but it is on a watch list, so I am biding my time to determine when I should buy into this company. If you've looked at this company's share price recently, they are trading higher, especially after an Evercore ISI analyst advised investors to buy shares of this company. This particular analyst has an outperform rating on this company and a $215 price target, which really isn't that bad for this company overall. For context, this company trades at just $185.27, so this analyst clearly sees a large amount of upside in this particular stock. And over the last year, the company has rallied 13% in their share price, and over the last 12 months, that has turned into a 45% increase. That's what originally led me to this company to put it on a watch list because normally they don't experience a lot of volatility in their share price. And honestly, normally this company downtrends in their share price because it's a pretty decent stable dividend stock. But recently, they've been undergoing some growth lately. One of the reasons why we've seen an increase in their share price is because of more IT spending. And IBM's momentum in consulting is going to be derived from more IT spending. So the company's consulting arm grew by around 5.8% in the December quarter, which was great news for this company. According to analysts, they believe in the approaching earnings report the company will post revenues of $14.5 billion, but this analyst actually believes they will beat that metric by posting $14.6 billion. Likewise, the majority of analysts believe this company will post $1.59 per share, but this other analyst believes they will beat that metric as well by posting $1.60 per share. If IBM ends up beating on both their revenues and their earnings, this is going to act as a very positive catalyst for their share price, and that's why investors need to be paying attention to this. Naturally, on their earnings call, they will mention artificial intelligence related bookings growth and performance of this company, particularly the company's Red Hat open source software unit. The company will also most likely talk about the durability of their consulting business and the progress that they have achieved in regards to free cash flow. And both of these are phenomenal news updates for IBM. The analyst even says, and I quote, we think IBM is well positioned to sustain mid single digit sales growth, driven by a combination of secular growth in consulting, improved execution, and price increase benefits on the software side, end quote. And overall, I actually agree with this analyst, and that's why right now it's on a watch list and I'm waiting to invest in this company, but I would love to hear your thoughts about IBM down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about some approaching earnings reports in regards to United Airlines and Alaska Air. Both of these companies are anticipated to post first quarter losses and they both 
both blame Boeing. If you didn't know, Boeing is an aircraft manufacturer, and ever since a door plug yeeted off a 737 during an Alaska Airlines flight, they have been in hot water. The reason why both of these airlines would blame Boeing for their losses is because the 737 MAX have actually been grounded for safety reasons, which is costing these airlines lots of money. Boeing has even paid Alaska Airlines $160 million for payback regarding this original door debacle. Despite Boeing trying to clean up their act, both of these airlines are going to suffer significant losses in the upcoming earnings results, so if you anticipate that these companies will receive a lot of volatility, then feel free to invest accordingly. Next up, let's talk about Netflix, which is one of the only major profitable streaming services out there. The reason why Netflix is in the news, ticker symbol NFLX, is because they report earnings this week. And in quarter four, they added 13 million subscribers, hitting a record of 260 million paid subscribers in a total. So this is great news for Netflix. I personally think that their upcoming earnings report will be rather strong, but only time will tell. But that's not all, because we also have a lot of other companies that are also going to report earnings this week. As an example, on Tuesday, we are anticipated to receive earnings from United Airlines, Bank of America, Johnson & Johnson, Morgan Stanley, United Health, JB Hunt, and Omnicom. Next up on Wednesday, we're anticipated to receive earnings from Discover, US Bancorp, Equifax, Citizens Financial, Abbott, Las Vegas Sands, ASML, Travelers Companies, and Alcoa. And for me personally, I would keep my eyes on Discover, Abbott, and ASML. Next up on Thursday, we're also anticipated to receive earnings from TSM, which I will keep my eye on, Nokia, Blackstone, DR Horton, Alaska Airlines, Elevance Health, Netflix, Intuitive Surgical, and many others. And then lastly, on Friday, to close out the week, we're anticipated to get earnings from American Express, Procter & Gamble, and Fifth Third Bancorp. And that would conclude our news video for today. So for more videos just like this one on the latest stock market news updates and the best stocks to buy, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. And with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.